The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. If this had been somebody's covered in sauce, the child would have had the same reaction. That vegan teacher is a controversial individual. Nobody knows what's going on in her mind or why she's like this, but uh, it could have something to do with the fact that her name is Karen. If you were born a Karen, you were born a Karen. I guess you can't fight it. Today we're looking at one of her latest controversies. It might be the worst thing she's ever said. So as you can see, we're looking at possibly the worst and least aesthetic YouTube video format that uh, you could make as a YouTuber. I mean, we've got half of the video taken over by a black screen with some type of billboard message, then the other half is a baby eating ribs, which is just footage that repeats itself for five minutes. And then she's talking on top. And the title is just next level. Psychotic aunt robs baby of her vegan virginity. Listen, if you're using the words baby and virginity in the same sentence, uh, you're kind of ringing off my creep alarm, but uh, there will be worse sh in this video, trust me. Imagine that this is your baby, and you ask your sister to babysit for a little while because you have to run some errands. Imagine that you tell your sister that you are vegan and you don't want your baby to eat any animal products. So as you can see, this is a definitely a vegan moral dilemma. And I respect that. I mean, I have nothing against veganism. You should probably respect the wishes of your sister in this situation. I mean, the baby looks healthy. It doesn't look malnourished or something. Uh, it's got a healthy weight and stuff. And yeah, this is a great way to ruin your relationship with your sister. You trust your sister because you think your sister loves you and respects you. But when you're not looking, your sister takes the dead body part of an innocent animal who didn't want to die and feeds it to your child. Yes, we've got those uh, grotesque sentences. She always talks like this. Yes, meat is uh, made of an animal, that is correct. But let's just look at this stupid billboard that's taken up half of the screen. I mean, I can't ignore it any longer. Anyone who engages in vegan phobia should be punished under the umbrella of a hate crime. So I don't know if she has ADHD or something, but uh, this message has nothing to do with the video, okay? Why didn't she just put her face on the half of the screen, okay? I, I don't know. Vegan phobia, definitely a real condition, right? Then she makes a video and she posts it for everyone to see. But the feedback she gets isn't of people scolding her for being cruel and betraying her sister's trust. The feedback she gets is praise. This is the kind of vegan phobic world we live in, where a vegan mother cannot even trust her own family. Okay, okay, she got to the point. Vegan phobic world. Do we really live in a vegan phobic world? What does that even mean? That's just a term that she invented. So, like, this is a term that uh, consists of vegan and phobia. I guess it's a twist at homophobia. Because nobody actually fears gay people, and just like that, nobody actually fears vegans. It's not like you're just walking down the street and you see a vegan and you're like... <laughs> you get, like, PTSD flashbacks, you know, because you're scared of vegans. I think she means, uh, vegan oppression or, or vegan hate or something sinister like that ridiculous millions of people have seen this video and have commented that they think it is funny and they somehow think that this is proof that the baby wants the meat okay is this funny i don't know i think the baby's face is actually ridiculously funny the baby is just like oh wow you know like the, this i mean this is probably really tasty and this is coming from somebody who doesn't even eat ribs, but uh, I bet the barbecue sauce is like really tasty. So that's what people are laughing at. The baby's face is just really funny. And, and yes, I actually agree with her that uh, she did, like this woman did betray her sister's trust. But look closely. This meat is covered in barbecue sauce, True. which is made of salt, sugar, and spices. The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. Which is vegan. 
But yeah, I mean, unseasoned meat uh, tastes very bland. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. If this had been somebody's penis covered in sauce, the child would have had the same reaction. You f creep. She really thought that this would be like funny or like effective propaganda or something. Are you serious? If this had been someone's penis... No, no, shut up. You already said baby and virginity in the same sentence. Now you're saying baby and penis in the same sentence. Are you insane? But then she goes on to describe this in detail. Disgusting. And you can see how people are reacting to this. I mean, she's routinely getting like 99% dislikes on all of her videos. Nobody actually unironically watches her. She is not a good advocate for veganism. And by the way, I also have nothing against veganism. I think if you want to be vegan, you can be vegan. I actually tried out the vegan diet and it was a good experience. You know, I did it a few years back. Let that sink in for a minute. Don't let that sink in for a minute. It's just a disgusting, disturbing scene. Ponder that. Picture that. Feel that in your gut. Yes, Karen wants you to picture the of a child. How insane do you have to be to justify this as vegan activism? And you know, I genuinely feel bad uh, for all the normal vegans who aren't activists who just want to be vegan in peace. Because all of these people with their extreme, you know, YouTube online presence and protests and stuff, they're just giving a bad image to vegans. Let that imagery wash all over your body. And before you can scream and yell and say that there is a big difference between the two, I invite you right now to try to articulate that. Uh, let, let me try to articulate that. I, I've been called a very articulate person. I, I'm sure I can come up with something, right? Hmm. I, I don't think I can articulate that. I think she won this argument. Because, in fact... There is no difference. If a mother tells you not to put something in her child's mouth and you do it, you have essentially raised that child's palate. Okay, I, I guess you learn something new every day. There is no difference between philia and feeding a child some ribs. Okay, let's try to articulate the difference. You know, uh, if a child gets abused, they will develop PTSD and their lives will be ruined for the rest of their lives. I, I said lives twice. You get what I'm saying. It will ruin them mentally, okay? If a vegan baby eats a little bit of meat sometimes, nothing will happen to them. Does she even want the child to grow up happy and healthy or does she just want to push the vegan uh, agenda, you know? I just wonder if there is a single vegan who thinks she's doing veganism justice. This baby had a right to maintain her vegan virginity. This mother did not consent to her child eating an animal. But did the baby not lose that with uh, her mother's milk? Or, or is breast milk vegan? I think that's actually cannibalism. <laughs> it's kind of creepy when you put it like that, right? On behalf of all good people who live on this planet and are able to see right from wrong, I apologize to this child. Are you a good person? Do you agree with her? Because she's apologizing on behalf of you. I don't know. Or maybe we're all just terrible people. Maybe in Karen's mind, uh, only 1% of people are good. Or whatever the vegan statistic is. Probably like 10, 20%. I don't know. But this is just ridiculous. Now she's mocking Philia victims. I mean, if I had something like that happen to me when I was a kid, luckily, you know, I was fine, I was protected and stuff, but uh, I would probably be raging in her comments right now. To all mothers and fathers who are striving to be vegan in this vegan-phobic world, I salute you. To the millions of people who have commented on this post and laughed about it. Burn in hell, or something like that. But she already wrote it on the screen, you should be punished under the umbrella of a hate crime. Try for a moment to put yourself in the position of the animal. This animal did not want to die. So, uh, mm, uh, the world is kind of rough like that, isn't it? 
If you go alone into the forest and uh, you stumble into a hungry bear, uh, something bad might happen to you. You're gonna find yourself on the menu of that bear, right? So what does she think of that? But like bears eating smaller animals, sometimes humans if they're hungry. What does she think of that? Does she think that uh, bears uh, shouldn't live or something? Does she think that lions, bears, wolves are all horrible creatures? This is somebody's rib. Somebody's rib. It is somebody's body part. And I'm kind of sick of, you know, some vegans talking about animals like there are some super advanced organisms when they really aren't. Can a cow play guitar? I don't think it can. Can a chicken build a rocket? I don't think it can. And that doesn't mean we should eat them because they're like, I don't know, intellectually inferior or something. But, but I mean, we can. And you also can be vegan if you want to. The animal wanted to be with his or her family. The animal had a right to live. All animals have a right to be free, to live their lives without being commodified, tortured, raped. Who the fuck raped animals? Chill. And you know, this is kind of like a, a hippie philosophy, which is nice. We should all live in peace. But uh, what about the animals eating other animals? Are they also criminals? Because she's clearly psychologically biased. She's saying, okay, an antelope is more important than a lion. I swear, if we lived in a perfect uh, vegan teacher Karen utopia, we would have animal prisons. Okay, all carnivorous animals would be imprisoned right now. How ridiculous does that sound? And I don't even know why I'm so logical right now. This woman is literally talking about the r of a baby. I'm being way too reasonable in this video. All babies have a right to maintain their vegan virginity. Babies do not consent to having body parts put into their mouth. Whether it's a peanut or a rib or anything else. I'm just imagining, okay? I'm, I'm just imagining an alternate world where I had an unfortunate thing happen to me by my uncle at age four. I don't think I would be able to control myself. Like, like, like the stuff that I would say to this woman, bro. We live in a twisted world. True. But we can change. But uh, I don't think my definition and her definition of twisted matches. I think the world's twisted because uh, there's way too much uh, negativity and pessimism. That's what I think. I think people need to believe in themselves more and like achieve uh, greater things. If there are good people who are reading this, now is your chance to step forward. Now is your chance to step forward and talk about in babies' mouths, right? Because that's good activism. Karen is so lost. She's so lost in the process of making vegan content, she doesn't even know how to make a good vegan video anymore. So yeah, I mean, this is uh, probably one of the most ridiculous, probably the most ridiculous attempts at promoting veganism. Clearly, judging by the like to dislike ratio, it works, right? That vegan teacher is such an L for veganism. I just had to make this video.